So whether you're on Sonoma, Ventura, Monterey, Big Sur, or Catalina, it's the same. I don't remember Mojave. That's been uh, a few minutes. So what you'll do is obviously you'll be on your desktop. You're going to have a bunch of folders, but I have a different window here just to clear it up so we can go through. And I'm going to minimize myself and make the screen a little bit better, bigger. So when we come over to our desktop, we just hit control and then click on the mouse. You'll see the option right here to change wallpaper. You click on change wallpaper. You're going to have a bunch of different options uh, as far as this process goes. So let me just slide this over to the middle so you can see it. So it tells you what version uh, you have right now as your desktop. You can actually have that be your screensaver. You can show it on all of the spaces. So if you're using a second monitor like I am right now, that'll be the screensaver on the second monitor or a third monitor, however you want to do it. You can customize with your own photos. So when you click on add photo, you can go from photos, which will then connect to all of the photos that you have on your Mac or your MacBook Pro or whatever version you have. <clears throat> but you can also choose one. When I click on choose, it's going to pull up all my MP4 files, um, or not my MP4 files, my MP3 files, uh, images, JPEGs, different things like that. Anything that will work, you'll see that this is a video, so this won't work. Um, and you know these are uh, just JPEGs, so they will work. Um, anyway, so you can grab any of these and make these your background. So let's just take this one and choose that, and you'll see that everything changes. I'll move this out of the way, so you've got this kind of high def. Um, this is an AI picture that I made on uh, an AI tool. But so when you do this, right, you can actually take your photos and you can run them through kind of what's basically like a slideshow. And those photos will rotate through as a slideshow. Now, Apple obviously gives you a ton of other different things that you can use too. You have these kind of dynamic wallpapers where they're constantly moving, which means the pixels are moving so you won't get any freeze. Um, I haven't heard of anybody getting a frozen monitor in probably five plus years. Uh, the way that they make them now, they just don't freeze. That's when you leave them open for you know 24 hours or whatever, you'll get images frozen on your screen. So when you go to uh, these, you just click on them. And uh, I already have that one downloaded. So we're gonna go here. You'll notice right here that it is downloading. And there's a little blue circle that goes through and you can go all the way back to Big Sur, Catalina. Uh, and what you'll see is this is basically loading right here and up here. And the minute that you choose that, uh, it basically becomes your background. Now, some other cool things that that uh, Apple has done is it pulls basically information from a lot of different places. So like I live in Utah. I think most of you know that by now. So I could do Utah evening and it's a landscape, and so it'll just kind of go through these slides. You could do cityscape, you have underwater options, you have earth options, and then what you can actually do, if I slide over uh, just on earth and some of these other ones, uh, those of you that have Apple TVs, you should recognize some of these. These are satellites going around earth. Um, let me see if I can find one that I was trying to explain. Um, go to Southern California, I think it's this one. Just gonna wait for it to download. Oh, there they are right here, the shuffle aerials. So the shuffle aerials is basically goes through a slideshow and it will shuffle between different um, landscapes or cityscapes or whatever. So you're doing all of those. And then you have basically a bunch of different options for just straight colors here. And it changes right then. You don't have to save anything. You don't have to do anything. Just when it's done, uh, that becomes your background. And uh, one of my favorites, right, is actually shuffle all. So it'll rotate through all of the images that Apple has. Anyway, so those are all of your options. Uh, you can create your own videos and actually use those here. We're not going to spend time doing that. We'll do that another day. Um, so this will give you information every 12 hours. It will shuffle all every 12 hours. Let's say I wanted to do every two days. There's 135 aerials. So basically, you're going to get a picture every couple of hours or every half an hour or whatever. Anyway, if it's you're here, it's most likely because you own a Mac uh, or you're follow me, you're an educator. Uh, I appreciate what you do for kids on a daily basis. You are changing lives. Have a fantastic day.